I don't know, bro. It's a little bit different. It's kind of weird. That's funny that you showed me that on your, on your uh, wallpaper. No, I showed you that shit too. Look, I showed you that shit at one, two, three at the time. One, two, you three. You said one, two, three. The my number. One, two, three. My numbers. That shit on my face, bro. That's bro, let my, me see. Um, in my body. That shit on my face. One, two, three. Oh. Let the me my see. numbers. I'm gonna search it all, bro. Is a very positive upward moving number that is considered a good sign in terms of love, soulmates, and, and twin flames. Well, that's has nothing to do with me. Uh, let me see. Oh, is a strong confirmation by your loving guardian angels that help us in divine realms. That has to do with my number seventeen. Hey, what does hey what does seventeen hey what seventeen mean to you? It means I'm in a good path to life. Same thing as yeah, this but how did you like you started seeing it a lot or what? Yeah, I started. I always was my lucky number. It was my angel number, my biblical number, my spiritual. Yeah. Number. And then I was seventeen when I got it, and I went through the most when I was seventeen because I. Now that's it. Wow. And I my, bro, you know my ex, her yeah. birthday one seventeen. My homeboy that passed away, he passed away eleven seventeen. My little brother birthday is three seventeen. Oh, Everything this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, my homeboy passed away eleven seventeen this month. It's gonna be two years. Yo, that's facts. Let's see what this guy's doing. Now that's your real though. No number shit's real though. People that know if you know, you know. Bro, you know what's so you know what's so crazy is that when I was when I was homeless and broke. I didn't have nothing like, you know, when we were talking about I need the answers or we uh, nobody has answers for you, I yeah. look at signs for everything to see like if it had a meaning and I'll search it up the way I just search it up. Yeah, me would, too. It would, it would help me push, you know? Motivate yeah, me. yeah, for real. It'd be like, you know, on God, bro, that shit motivates you. It'd be like, yeah. it'll make you happy. Like a different <laughs> feeling. Like you like, yeah, like I'm doing yeah. good. I must be doing something right. And then I mean, push even you, if bro. it's like delusional or it's not delusional, like at the same time, it's like it's in my head. But whatever works, what, works for exactly. you, though. Now, that shit works, though. I know what you're talking about, bro. Whatever fuel, like whatever fuels your heart and makes you push, like, Use that's, it. that's me. You feel me? I'm going to take it to advantage Real of shit. it. Like, nah, people have like, different you ways. You just walk in some random, and you see your number, you'll be like, oh, shit. Like, you'll be shocked at the moment, and then you'll be like, damn. Like, you know that shit real. Yeah. It's crazy, because it's like, I, I knew the number 17 was my numbers, because, like, it's like I it's so much I can't even tell you. I had a dream about Koda and stuff like that. And then yeah. the week after he met all my brother, he's like, "What'd you why'd you get that number in the middle of your uh for the same way how you asked me? I said, because it's my angel number. He's like, hmm. He laughed and he flipped the camera and it was blurry. He's like, What is that? I said, I can't see it. Get closer. Oh, I heard about that. I heard about that shit in your interview. Yeah, he's like, he's like, get closer. And it was a 17. And I'm like, and I saw him in my dreams and stuff like that. And you feel me? And I can't really explain too much about it, but it, it goes deeper than that. But I'm like, Appreciate the money gun, James. Now, for I be having dreams too. I had a dream with someone on uh, last year, November, with someone famous. I don't have no dreams anymore. <laughs> Come on, guys. We need some galaxies, money guns. We need all that. Come on. You don't be having dreams? Nah, not no more. I mean, I do sometimes, but I don't know, bro. I think I'm like, um, I don't know, bro. I think I'm a little bit crazy now. You feel me? Like I don't. Hey, I, when you when your shit started first blowing up, did it take you a while for you to even like realize it? Yeah. Like to like grasp reality to like know like this shit really happening. It. Uh, de I had derealization. I think that's what it's called. Uh, mm -hmm. where where depersonalization? Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you don't feel yeah. like you're real. Mm hmm. I I there was a time where I, I um. Bro, you know, I, I didn't come from nothing. I didn't come bro, from nothing. That's not crazy you saying that shit. And it's what so funny because it's funny because I was never like a luck. I've never been a lucky person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I like I've never been picked for nothing or no whatever. But I always knew I was gonna get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like so like when I woke up and that happened, I was of course I was still stuck in like in the world I was living in. Like I wasn't at the island boy uh world yet. So I was stuck in the world I was living in. And I was like. I was like, okay, just another viral. Because, I, you know, I've been viral multiple times. Yeah, you know, yeah, for whatever. sure. So I'm like, just just viral, whatever. But then I started having people that, when I was growing up, guys that talk about me, like Joe Rogan, uh, uh, you know, uh, like the Nelk boys were talking about me. Like, I used to watch these people when I was kids and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, I had basketball uh, players hitting me up and stuff like that, asking me if they could run a business with me and stuff. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, and then and then my mom's calling me, telling me, uh, like, her she works she's like my clients are talking about you i said finally she's finally happy because she don't never talk about me she has nothing to talk about me accomplishment so so i'm like okay and then i'm like um and then the money started coming in this is when it got really really weird 
is that um I made I made 70 80k that day with me and my brother together, right? Um when when someone taught me how to make money from from cuz you got to monetize when you blow up. Some people don't know how to do that. But thank God I've always you know you know me from the past. I did promos stuff like that. I've always been good when I always been good at monetizing myself. Always. I don't care what I do. You you want to talk to me? Monetize. Boom just like that. So so it's just the way how I market myself. So then so then uh I could I withdraw 20k, but I had 70, 80k that I made that day. I withdraw 20k because I didn't believe it was real. I don't want to withdraw the whole thing, then go to my bank account and it says you can't have the money, right? I yeah. withdraw 20k and then uh, I, it went in my. It was a weekend, so it, t- it took three days to, to land in my bank account. And then uh, I saw that I landed in my bank account and uh, I checked once again and it disappeared. So I called a bank and there was a Cuban guy and he was like, he was like. He's like, oh no, yeah, the money would disappear from your bank account. You're gonna have to call the manager. I said, okay, give me the give me the direct number to the to the manager. Hold on, give me the direct number to uh to the manager. Hold on, and then uh I called the manager and it was in North Carolina. Remember, I lived in North Carolina for a year. So then, so then uh it was I guess who who is it? Oh, no. So I called. So I uh. I called the North Carolina branch, which is the lady that opened my bank account when I was making what three hundred dollars a week, yeah. right? And then, and she she was she was mad at me when I first met her. She was happy. She was mad at me. She's like, "Excuse me, one thing you're gonna do is not uh, argue with my employees." And this and that. I said, "Woman, if you had twenty thousand dollars taken from your bank account, you'd get mad too." And she was telling me, "Excuse me, excuse me, nobody took twenty thousand dollars out of your bank account. We needed to check because it was um, pointed as being fraud." I said, "Fraud. This is legal money." You feel me? She was hating yeah. on me. And I realized she was the one that opened my bank account. She was hey, not like that at all. You feel me? She, yeah. I guess she never thought I was going to make that type of money. And so, she so, what, so you changed banks? No, I didn't change banks. I, but I would walk, I'd, I'd walk in the bank confident every day, though. Yeah. I ended up being friends with the Cuban guy and stuff like that. But he, we, I, I, I threatened him at first. I told him, like, bro, don't, I said, don't play with my money, bro. No, nah, for real though, you can't play with some of money. But then when when I got when I withdrew the twenty thousand, when they I think it was thirty k though. When I withdrew the twenty or thirty thousand, I remember I had to, of course I had to like split it with my brother or something like that. Oh no no, no. yeah, yeah I, th- I think so. Or no, I keep I keep my bank and I split it with him because I keep my money in my bank. And then and then I and then I remember that you know we I carried this amount of money. I was, I just I remember I remember exactly how this day was. It was a beautiful day and we was in an Uber and I was like. That's when I knew, like, my life changed. Like, like, I was like, you can do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, nobody can tell me nothing. Like, you feel me? Bro, and then when I, bro, when I, when I first was making bank and I made it, bro, I wasn't playing. I was making 70, 80K a day, fam. And I would call people and I was like, yeah. So, you know, I'd be in mansion areas like, yeah, what's up? I'd call people on FaceTime. And I remember, I don't know if you remember that one kid that, that uh, got exposed for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nope. I, I used to, he used to pray on my downfall, so I'd call him on FaceTime just to um, flex on him. Me and my brother, we would have. Yeah, which one? Which one? L? Nine five. Yeah. 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 Anyways, so me, so me and my brother, me and my brother, we had a certain hour of the day that we would flex on him because he used to pray on our downfall. And I remember it was so funny. I, 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 it's like, it's like. Uh, Appreciate he you, James. Act, he acted like he was happy for us, but he really wasn't. He never wanted to see us succeed. So I was like, you know, so so we used to flex on him. He was like, hey, you see this? We got a lot of money. And you get mad. And I remember he was like, he was like, listen, guy, you don't have to flex on me all the time. And I swear to God, this 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 is coming from the same kid that used to like pray on my dog. He used to be like, yeah. you're, not, you're not gonna make it. All up, all up in the camera. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, now nah, people you know, mad, bro. I was, bro, people was mad. They was hating, bro. I was never mad, bro. No, I know you weren't mad. You know what's so crazy, bro? There was I was a never time, mad, bro. bro, bro a, when I knew I, you made it, bro, bro, no cap. After your shit blew up, I was working at the time of job. Yeah. Bro, like two, three days later, someone in my job brought you up. I was like, damn, yeah, I used to go live with him. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I was like, that's when I started realizing, like, damn, he really blew up. People at my job talk about this man. I'm all the way in Cali. That's when I was like, yeah, his shit, his shit up. Like, these, these, yeah, these but, people but, talking hey. about him. It's so funny because there was a time where where um I didn't want to give up, but like I don't know if you knew me at the time, but I was in North Carolina. And I just I got back with my family finally and stuff like that. And I just remember like people, you know, when people see potential in you, right? 
And this is the weird part about it. They won't tell, you know, in this world, as humans, we're supposed to tell each other what we could be. So uh-huh. if, I, if I feel like you have potential to be someone big, I'm going to tell you, right? And we're homeboys, of course. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to motivate you, I'm going to tell you, but other people don't do that. So that's why, and no one ever told me that because they were always so scared of my potential, whether I was going to be, become a, 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 you know, the biggest, meanest person in the world. But it doesn't matter. Why don't you want to see me succeed? I want to see people succeed. No, like, for real. Like people be scared rich, of the potential you got. For right? real. So real people, shit. believe it or not, your homeboys know that you could be somebody. They just don't say it. They keep their mouth closed because they're scared of your potential. They want you to stay in the same level as them. So I was like, I was, I kind of was like, um, I kind of wanted to give it because people were trying to make it flip the, the scenario and try to make it seem like there was something wrong with me, kind of like gaslighting uh-huh. a little bit. And they were trying to make it seem like like I'm not gonna make it. I'm doing this all for no reason, and I'm I'm failing big time. Yeah. Right. And they were all making it seem like the the other kid that he was getting more views than me at the time, and they were doing it on purpose because they knew it would make me mad. They knew that I took it more serious, which I did. I took everything more serious than everybody. You could tell, right? Uh, they knew that I, I worked hard more than anybody. You feel me? They knew that that I wanted to get somewhere, so they knew this was my dream. So people in the in the beginning, they were not in the beginning, but like towards like almost the middle, they were trying they were trying me. Like they were literally like they were like trying to make it seem like like I'm not doing the right thing. And I was like, why? I don't know why they're doing that to me. But that's why you got to overcome some stuff because even when nobody believes in you, you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, that's how you feel. And to be honest with you. If I didn't believe in myself, then I would have never been been anything. But people are really ruthless out there. They'll tell you straight up. Like, I've had the closest people tell me I'm not going to be nothing in life and laughed in my face and told me you're a loser. So, not real I mean, shit. Especially when, you're, when your dreams are so high. Because my dreams is not, hey, you know, I want to, you know, I, I want to become a real estate agent. You know, anyone can say that. But no, my dreams was like, hey, listen, I want to be, I want to be the biggest person where you know me, you know me, you know me, you know me. I want to walk around the streets and you, you're going to have to pay to see me, little dog. You feel me? That type of thing. I want to drive, you know, nice cars and stuff like that and drive real fast and police stop me and say, hey, aren't you Isla Boy? Man, just go. You feel me? Got, got face Where's car it? like that. Yeah, got face car like that. You feel me? See, when you tell people like that, they laugh at you. Now, when you become, when you become that person, they all then they mad they mad and quiet and they want they're quiet it's like where they at now so i was like you know it's like it's like the same thing when people say i fall off it's like you gotta watch out when you say people fell off because they said the same thing about kodak i think it was megan stallion they said that he fell off and a month later he came out with super gremlin and boom he took off again so like yeah people like people take breaks you gotta understand that but it doesn't mean they fell off if they knew the blueprint they know the next blueprint so it's not like you know it's not that hard if you know how to do it if you know how to like if you know how to attract something once you could even once you know the process and the formula you'll never forget it you know you never know. forget it but it's also hard to maintain a lot though mm-hmm. it takes it takes a real it takes a real soda to, to maintain it now nah, I mean, everything nobody... go up and down life a roller coaster it go back up it goes oh, down yeah, a little but it go right back that's up. that's a fact that's the smartest thing you said life's a roller coaster like it really is though but yeah people people are like people are so ignorant and they're arrogant like they're like like look people over here are talking about we're devil worshipers and stuff like that it's like people don't have people have no mind people people think think so negative people never say nothing positive in this world and so yeah then they w- wonder why people in this world just eat eat nothing and just go on with their day and don't, don't become nothing it's like people always think that we live in a greedy world where people think like they 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 deserve to have it oh i deserve to have it he gets to sit on his butt all day long. Yeah, he don't me. deserve it because he got tattoos, or he don't deserve it because how he look. He should be that's on. arrogant. He should be locked up, or he should be doing this, or like doing that. That's what they like. They see you and they perceive that. It's funny because like it's funny because like when I when I got tatted on my face, I I I thought about it. I was like, I'm talking about when I got the middle of my forehead. I thought about it a little bit. I was like, I was like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like if people. People think people still judge people with tattoos because I don't know if you back then if you had markings on your face you're considered a menace to society, but like now you're still considered like eh you, you know they have to question you a little bit a little bit yeah. justice, right, and then and then I, I was thinking about like I should get it anyways because in the future people are gonna accept it. It's been four to five or six, whatever five six years since I've had these tattoos on my face. People uh, have not changed their opinion on face tattoos at all. Mm-hmm. And and people say that's not true. It's the way how you act. No, I promise you, it's, it's not. I've had people like you know discriminate me because I have face tattoos. You know, I not no more like not not now, but when especially when I didn't have money or nothing like that. When yeah. I used to walk in the store and I looked like I was just like window shopping or something like that, people used to be like, "Oh, what are you doing here? You're stealing." Security would have to follow me all the time. They would kick me out of places all the time. So like it's like yeah, people think that you know. 
Yeah, discriminate face tattoos. Yo, do people discriminate your face tattoos sometimes? Be honest. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> you don't see how I look? Of course. You've ever been profiled? Yeah, for sure. Like, but like, police pull me over before when I'm walking, bro. I be walking, they pull me over. Yep, like, oh, yep, yep. this and that. Oh, uh, are you in? A, especially out in Cali, they be like, oh, you in a gang? Oh, you got you got any record? They want to see if I'm a felon. I don't got no record though. They be like, oh, are you on PO? But I never been like pressed by someone about them. Never in my life. Yeah. No, I. I it's it's funny because I go by people's energy. I just like like. People like I like I go up to the nicest women and, and it's not their fault like they're not used to people with face tattoos but I go up to the nicest women right and then uh-huh. when, when I go up to them it's like I talk to them and they mm-hmm. they stare at my face and I go by energy and I I see that they're like they can't look past my tattoos and then it's so funny the timing's so funny I'm like they're gonna talk about my tattoos then the woman just mentions my tattoos right after so it's like people still like you know their opinion of tattoos now, once, but but like once someone has an opinion on something. It's hard to ever change their mind. It's not even worth trying to change their mind on anything because you just gonna yeah. keep going back and forth with someone that doesn't want to have an open mind. Like with closed-minded people, with anything, like not just tattoos. If you're trying to explain something and go back and forth, no matter what yeah. you say, they're not going to listen. So you, no, that's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. It's like you can't prove a hater wrong. Real shit. Like I'm not going to lie. Look, everybody, like I'm not going to lie. Hundred, not, I want to say 100, but 87% of people in my comment section are talking down on me. Instead of, moving me positivity like for example like like x had a very good fan base would you agree like they kind of worshiped him right for sure okay so like how do you think when he was getting moved positivity like that how do you think it made him feel how to make him feel yeah like, like in your he had opinion. power like he yeah, was uh... you're smart so I, that's exactly what i was thinking yeah like he had power so i was like i mean think about it. he's got money already Right, you already have power when you have money and you have that type of fame, whether you're hated or you're not hated. Because look at Andrew Tate, look at look at Donald Trump, look at all those people, right? And then and then, but like he had when you have so much love, but it's there. Because sometimes people have love and no one knows who they are, because love is fake. But see, when when they worship you, it's a whole different like scenario. So that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like the way how they worship them is like almost like he's like 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 their own like God, you know? So it's like. It's like it moved them positivity that everything that came out of his mouth spoke volumes yeah. and it was powerful. So it's like it's like see people are scared of to make me look a certain way, so they try to bring me down. And how do I know that? It's because every time I let's say if I talk to a new girl, right? What's the first thing they're gonna tell that girl? Oh, he hits women. I don't hit I never hit a woman, but they're gonna say, Oh, he hits women, right? She cause she's pretty. And we can have a good relationship and stuff like that. Why are you telling this girl? And let's let's just say if I did my personal business, what if I'm a changed man? You know, why are you telling this girl my business? Like, you don't they be doing know that same why shit you to care. me now, bro. They be doing that same exact shit. Yeah, so like, it's like, why do you care? Well, why does it? Why does it? Why does my life affect you? Do you see me going on your girlfriend's thing and telling, making up lies and say that you the. You're broke and you're this and that. No, I don't. They be trying to block, bro. They try to block anything that you got for you. And when they see you got something, that's why you can't let people know when you're happy about something too much. Because when they know yeah. you're happy, they try to take it from you. They try to, like, break it. When you're making something, they'll try to break it. It's funny because people, someone said I'm complaining. I'm, I didn't know I was complaining. I thought I, I'm just having a conversation, to be honest with you. But you're, you guys, you guys are mad because you guys don't have conversations about this. This should motivate people. Bro, this this Pontry kid looks so funny. Every single day, <laughs> every single day he gets funnier and funnier. Bro, no, nah, God, bro, his shit, yo, he's funny, bro. He's funny, bro. Ain't he have like sixty forty k when he was at the house? I don't know, but you know what I used to call him, bro. Huh, Uncle? No, no. Rob Pedro. Oh, from uh, from Napoleon Dynamite. Pedro. Rob Schneider. Oh, Rob Schneider, that one too. Yo, yo, I, I used to be like, bro, you, bro, you wish you were Rob Schneider. He makes money. <laughs> no, for Thank real. Thank you for the gold mine, Matthew. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pedro! Pedro! Y'all, we almost at 100K light. Follow me if you're not. Y'all, we trying to hit 206K. 
Come on, guys. We have dub points. It's drop. Yo, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real to you. Yo, this guy, this guy be off the off everything. Nah, bro. He do be out. Nah, he for real. He be out the shits, bro. You when are you getting your nose done? I don't. I'm, I'm not getting my nose done. I'm scared of surgeries, guys. Like at first, I didn't know when this shit happened, and like I was battling him. I ain't know. What, I ain't know the whole story. But then I remember you was telling me like little shit, like little shit about it. And then like, uh, when I started chilling with him, like I chilled with him only two times. I only seen him. But two how times can you person. not tell though? Why? Why do people do them so like that? And both times, I could tell. Yo, you must have been lonely. Nah, we shooting Matt content, Dinger bro. I just was like, yeah, let's shoot something. Let's go. What content can you shoot with, with somebody that has not gonna benefit? Bro, they, I deleted them now, though. They bro, gone you can now. do I it. Your... As soon as my before my shit blew up, you can do that it yourself. You, I deleted bro, you them, can... bro, and you then can that do shit it went yourself. up. Bro, how you gonna talk though? You had that man living with you, bro. You brought him to the house. You don't even know what my motive was. You don't know mine. You didn't. But what did you get out of him though? The, the, let, let me tell you something. My, my, my motive with him did not work out. He's and neither did mine. Mine ain't work as well. I mean, it worked for a little for his time. It's, for his time, his, his image just doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't it's not up to par. It's not only that, but it's it's the mindset too. That too, yes. That's if like, you don't got the mindset, like it don't matter what your image look like. If you don't got the mindset or like know what you need to do, like it's just too much responsibility. To me, it's like a. Big old baby. <laughs> Come on, guys. We need some galaxy. He, hey, he told me about how you made him flush him. Oh, yeah. He told me about that shit. Big old baby. He's a big old baby. Now, that's real that you made him do that, though. Of course, bro. What do you mean? He was taking th three different ones. You told like, him he can only do one, right? He was, <laughs> he didn't, like, he was he his was, dad, bro. <laughs> no, I even picked the one that he, that he, had, he had to take. Nah, he told me. He told me which one it was. He told me. Uh, oh, he on right now? I'm sorry. He looks funny. He looks so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny is that he's, you know, he's easily, like, he easily gets mesmerized by certain things. What you mean? Bro, he was so funny to deal with. Bro, so though he would pick different days. One day he would be on my my brother's, and when no, the next day he'd be on my. <laughs> like, 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 not literally, obviously, but like in a in like in a way where he just he 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 get he could become a millionaire by complimenting. Add him, him in, nah, bro. But he got forty. Long. But he got on, forty guys, people watching. Corals. Like, why would I add him? He literally got how many people he got? Huh? Fifty. How many people he got watching? Seven. You know what I don't understand is like, do can I ask you a question? Do you agree with Kanye West? Do I agree with him? Yeah. Yeah. Smart. I feel like I feel like he could say what he want, man. It's supposed to be a free country. He could say what he want. Like let him be. You know what I'm saying like. He a grown man. He's done everything he said. He did everything he wanted you know, to do. You know, you know what? You know, you know, Palm Tree, I was trying to, when he was in my, my, my home, you know, I was trying to teach, I, I was trying to like direct him to politically think correctly because he is so, he is stuck in the matrix. He is so, uh -huh. he thinks like what other people think. Like, bro, I'm like, bro, that's not true, bro. Like, why well, you, you agree know. with him? You agree with Kanye? Yeah. I'm right. I'm right here. I'm right here. That's why. No, I agree with him. I like I like his mindset. I don't think he's crazy. I think he just know how to express himself. He's not scared. To I think, but I think we're all crazy. And he can himself. do that, especially because he's done everything he said. He backs it up. Yeah, the but, documentary showed it. Yeah, he but if, let's just say let's just say if he is crazy, because I'm not putting that past what they might. Yes, he is crazy, but that's not an excuse that he's wrong though. Like everybody. But like, what is crazy like, though? What's normal? Like I don't see how people say like what's normal. What would you call a normal right, well, person? Well, look. Then let me let me look. Let me put it this way. Like, okay, you date the most finest woman in the world. You try to build the best family that you can. You spend so much money, and all you know is is big big houses, nice cars, and and fairy tale and land stuff like that. Then you finally get broken hearted, and it's so publicly known. And then if she gets a new boyfriend right away and stuff like that, yeah, I'd go crazy too, low key. The prettiest woman, break up, divorce, not break up. He bought a big mansion for the kids. She makes a decision what school. 
And of course, you know, I'm very, I'm very strict on what, on, on, on certain things. Like if I don't like something, you're not, you're not going to that school. So I can just imagine how he is. He has his own built school. So that's what I'm saying. So just, just imagine. So I can understand where he's coming from. It doesn't make him like crazy, but you know, it could make yeah. you go off the wall sometimes. I mean, we're not going to sit here and act like we don't like sometimes when the cameras are not on or like whatever the case might be, we don't want to like punching the wall. No, for real. What did he say? It's not what he said. It's his actions. And people get yeah, mad about I didn't it. even talk about it. I agree about what he said. Like, no situation in general. I'm just saying him as in general. I agree with him. I don't even say nothing about the people he talked about. I don't, I don't even say I agree with. I'm not siding with what he says. But I agree that he can say what he want and do what he want. I I personally agree with everything that, that he said that comes out of his mouth. I agree with anybody that voices their opinion the same way how uh, uh, Anti said it. The reason why I agree with the way I, what he says because, like, he's not wrong. He's been, if you don't see, he's exposing the Achi, the shade he is, they're mad at him because he's exposing them. Like, we need to change something in this world. If we don't change it, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, like we're, we're becoming a very hateful uh, country and people are trying to put everybody down. And everyone's... Everyone's nah, scared. Of, everyone's scared of something, and everyone's living in fear. And I don't think we should live like that. I think we're we should live in freedom, and we need a good leader, and we need someone that's going to push for us to become successful and not become uh, a poverty country where we're just you know controlled by everybody, and we have puppets uh, walking around. Not real shit. Kanye so this so. You guys think everybody so this so. Y'all both worship Satan, bro. Why you? Why would you say? Why you think that? What made you think that? What made you think I worship him? Someone said I'm a puppet. Nobody controls me. How am I a puppet? Lost my soul just stepping on this live. Who controls me? I brush my teeth when I brush my teeth. I say what I want to say. If I was a puppet, I wouldn't be able to say the certain things I would say. They would cancel me by now. They would try to. They would try to find me, and you know. If anything, they the puppets, bro. They the one that's watching you, bro. Listening to you, watching yeah, but you. See, you got, you yeah, got but, their attention. You got yeah, their but attention. Anti, you, anti, you can't say that. They're going to be in their feelings after you say it because you're saying the truth. The truth hurts. They do. They do. It's facts, though. What am, What do you mean you get no viewers? What do you mean? I, I, get, I got 3.1K viewers just talking about nothing at night. I get 2 viewers. I got 1.5. We just talking yeah. about we're, nothing. We're just talking. We're two tatted individuals just talking about life, and, and you're mad about it. I don't know what to tell you. Go work your go work your 9 to 5. That, you're going to trigger them now, Yo, bro. <laughs> everyone send roses. Come on. You're going to trigger them now, bro. Now they're going to start commenting. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Apology said he energy draining. Never He's in there. Hey y'all, go watch my new videos. Go like, go comment. I'm gonna check how many people go watch and go like them. Everybody, go check them out right now. All the real he ones said your energy. He said your energy draining. Never link up with the brother. Yeah, this is money in life. He said I am. <laughs> He's funny. How you, how he older than me saying that? You 27 years old, bro. How did I take your energy, bro? I'm not your girl. Like, we're not in a relationship. Yeah, that's, that's true. Mel, thank you paper crane. You shouldn't let me, you shouldn't let another man ever drain your energy. You got to just step yourself in the situation. Like, you don't hey, let you someone think, Hey, you think you, hey, be, be real. You think you can pull more girls in him? Just keep it real. Duh. <laughs> but so... Crazy, bro. That ain't even a question. I can't. I can't. 